Uh, my name is Carolina Campanella, and I'm a postdoc at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, and I uh, work for Rebecca Spencer in the Cognition and Action Lab. Basically, what I do here is I work with preschoolers, and I'm really interested in uh, naps and how that helps with learning and memory, and then also what um, factors such as TV use, uh, nutrition, how that impacts their sleep. So I'm originally from Argentina, but I also uh, grew up in New Zealand and then here in the States. So my family moved around a lot. Um, both my uh, parents are scientists. My dad is a professor in engineering. That's um, why we moved a lot. Uh, and then my mom is a biochemist. Um, as far as how I got into research, the first memory I have of it uh, was when I was about like four or five. Um, I remember being really sick, and my mom was trying to explain to me you know, how I needed to rest to get better. And the way she described it to me is that um, I needed to rest to help the little soldiers in my body uh, that were fighting the germs. Uh, then, you know, like, you know, she explained more, you know, I, I mean, like, I started to, like, think about, like, oh, wow, like, our bodies can do, like, these really cool things, like, heal ourselves, you know. Um, and then that's sort of how I, my first, like, memory of really being interested in science and then I had like lots of science interests, like a geology phase when I was a little kid. Um, when I was like an undergrad, I was really interested in animal behavior. But um, I think like I would always like come back to just being really interested in like the human body, and then later on in the brain. And so that's what led me here um, to uh, to go to grad school and then my postdoc. We don't really know what the purpose of sleep is. So scientists have a lot of different theories uh, about why we might need to sleep. And I think that just like that question really appealed to me as well as I think um, just like the applications that come from it. Rather than doing experiments in the lab, we actually go to uh, preschoolers and then we will um, work with them in the preschool. Uh, and then we'll have them do different activities depending on what type of memory we're interested in learning. So. Um, like have them find the locations of cards, things like that. Um, and then in order to measure their sleep, uh, we use actigraphy watches, which is basically kind of like a fancy Fitbit. And it just measures their activity as well as when they're sleeping and when they're awake. My experiments are part of a larger grant and so that a lot of people are under. And so we actually all go out together and we'll collect data at the preschool. So it's not just me. So as a group, we have to figure out you know, like how we're going to collect data, you know, how we're going to interact with like the preschoolers and kind of minimize the disruption in their lives, uh, as well as, you know, figure out like experiments, like help each other out, bounce ideas off of each other. Here, which you can see looks dramatically different. You have really large, um, slow uh, waves um, that are so intense that you even see these waves even in the eye leads. So our lab is also very uh, friendly, like we'll do um, lab activities. So during the summer, for example, we, uh, we did a ropes course together, we went on a hike. Um, so it was something that um, our PI, uh, Rebecca, she organized um, just to kind of like, again, like foster this like collaborative environment. For veterinary medicine or even for med school, it's the same thing. I think you're kind of more focused on um, the individual per se, so you want to, you know, solve an immediate problem of like what's making somebody sick versus I think going uh, a research route, you're more interested in like the basic question, so what's the process that makes up this disorder that you're interested in studying or this process, so for example for me, sleep, like what are the processes that go between um, behind sleep versus um, what is the sleep problem and how can I help this specific person. So, I mean, despite like not wanting to pursue a medical degree, I'm still very interested in, you know, how, you know, research can help people. And so like this the idea of like studying this um, process that we all do, why we need to do it, and then, you know, how we could do it better to help people. So in, in the case of preschoolers, um, so figuring out, you know, why preschoolers nap, should they be napping in school, um, and, and you know, and how that can like a how that can like inform like policy. So I think like that was another thing that appealed to me. So both like this question of like why do we do why do we sleep as well as you know like how does it help others. Mm -hmm.